new day. They gonna make something different. And we're gonna install those motor mounts. So here is the motor mount and the all important spacers, washers or whatever. They are meant to go between the uh, idlers and this is for this hex wrench to can tighten this bolt. So the T nut on the back of the bolt and we gonna make sure that's the top side. Just end the groove and tighten the bolt just like this. Not too tight and it's in place. Okay, now we're gonna need the X axis and the Y axis road so we can make sure everything is aligned and properly spaced between this motor mount and the top of the printer. One bolt fell for some reason. I guess it's not important at the moment. So, first of all, the X axis and the Y axis goes inside the watch bearing like this. Now, it's gonna be a bit struggle to we'll make sure everything is aligned well. I will just insert it inside of the ready to the extrusion and snap this in and make sure this one won't hit anything on its path from to back. So five centimeters is okay and we need to make sure this side of the rod is equally spaced between this extrusion, this side of this extrusion, this, this side of this side of the extrusion and this side of this side of the extrusion because we don't want to make any shifts in the frame or kink it in the strange way. Now, this is the basic installation of uh, the, motor, the motor mounts in the Y gantry, X Y gantry. Now we have to make this the other side of the camera. Just quick note: I added this board for this little end stop. It's like here. Uh, I'm gonna run Marlin on this board because it's easier and it won't need any changes. Now we need to calibrate the height of the XY gantry and the easiest way to make sure everything is on its place is to make some adjustments. Now the X axis catches on the zero to order and we need to move this and this motor mount a bit to the top. Uh, I guess 5 millimeters will do and the easiest way to check it is with this. So let's do that. I adjusted to the four and a half.
it will catch, but it's because I zip tied my heated bed to the frame. Now, it's time to make sure everything gets on the correct sides, correct height. So again, square, check for alignment, move it up, still the same, height, push a bit down. this on your wrong side again I just tighten it a bit make sure everything is it's online this side it's a bit off Don't worry, I'm gonna make sure this is in Fast forward. Not too much. Now after everything is aligned and running smooth, we need to add this tiny part and it goes right here with the notch to the x-axis it's a bit tricky don't worry And this is how you install the Core XY system. Next time I'm gonna show you how to wire up and belt up this up upgrade for Hevel. And I'm working on this guy here need some parts as you can see so stay tuned and be productive bye bye x-axis